to me in a tiny chamber in which the force of the sea did such violence to my stomach I turned the color of a corpse and commenced to say, Bah! Bah! And after that, boop! 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 Together spewing from my mouth all that entered there in that day and the preceding one. Men, women, the youths and the old people, the dirty and the clean, all are thrown together in a hollow blue and a mess, jammed one right against the other, and thus jammed together one belches, another vomits, another breaks wind, and another discharges his bowels, all while you eat breakfast. This is your first sea voyage, I see. One of Monsieur LaSalle's recruits? Yes. Bound for Fort Frontenac. I, too, decided on the spot to follow him to his settlements on the shores of Lake Ontario. He's been in Canada for eight years now, you know. He's familiar with every aspect of life on the frontier. The blacksmith. Really? Well, you're certainly no sailor. I cannot be responsible for what the owners do with them after I build them. You must redouble your diligence as to free yourself from all the inconveniences and apprehensions under which you labor. Our enterprise is concerned solely with the glory of God, the good of the French colony, and our honor. Hennepin, what are you gabbing with that man for? Sir Robert LaSalle, one of the leading citizens of Canada and my new associate. Well, he's in need of my reassuring counsel, sir. Well, stand apart, if you please. I converse only with those whom I may. Enjoying the voyage so far, Sir Robert. Travel on land with a good mount and some money in your pocket can be quite pleasant. You go for a while through a plain, then you climb a mountain. You descend from there to a valley. You raise your eyes, you see diverse birds flying overhead. You meet diverse people on the road from whom you ask for news from diverse parts. But at sea, Hennepin, there is no hope with road, nor the lodgings, nor the company will ever improve. Everything can only get worse with the increasing irritations of the voyage. God will never abandon us, no matter how trying the voyage. Hennepin, if you spot another aphorism, I swear I will throw you over the side! 